Hello, Shuck it. Hello. Hello. Hello, Shuck it. Yes, can I? Hi, how are you? Uh, can I speak with Chuck it, please? Yeah, this is him. Is he there? Yeah, this is me. What's going on? Oh, hi. Hi, Chuck it. How are you? Good. Who's this? I don't know. You remember me? I'm Julie. Of course. What's going on? Alright, we just got here. Take a look at this home right here. Get ready to show this property. Not bad of a neighborhood. It's a gated community. Our homes were uh, built in the early 2000s, so let's go check this thing out. So this property that we are looking here, uh, this one, the asking price is 500,000, has four bedrooms, two full baths, three car garage, it is a single story, and has 1,950 square feet. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a link in the description below if you guys are interested in this property. Not bad, right, these barn doors, look at that. That's some crazy rods. Ooh, look at this outside. What a, um a lot back here. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh no, I mean you could probably do. I would actually get rid of these trees. These trees are horrible. Oh, this particular type of tree. Oh, it's so bad. It drops these little things. I hate them. Oh. Do not get these trees right behind here. I don't even know what they're called. They're just horrible. So after looking at this property, the clients didn't really like this property. Um, the kitchen was a little bit too small, and the floor plan, the layout was just too small. So now we gotta make adjustments as far as our square footage on the search when I get back to the office. But uh, we're gonna go look at a couple more properties, kinda get an idea. Normally this is what you do. Um, when you first meet clients, you set them up on a search. And then at that point, you kinda figure out what they want. We go look at homes. You kinda gauge what their wants and needs are. And you kinda figure out what we need to adjust on the search. And that's uh, pretty much it. So right now we are stuck here at the gate and uh, we're gonna go check out this one nice property. We're over here by Summerlin, probably about a mile off. It's Summerlin. Yeah, thank you. Just get their ID and I'll have them follow you. All right, thank you. Look at this community. Beautiful community, right? What's the name of this neighborhood? I'm trying to see what the name of this neighborhood is. Oh, look at this, gorgeous. Man, it doesn't even feel like we are in Vegas right now. It's crazy. All right, so here's the agent that we're meeting up with. Ugh. All right, so we just got done with that showing. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, show you guys what it looks like inside because there was actually a tenant inside. But um, clients did like the property. The only thing is that uh, with a lot of these properties out here in Las Vegas, especially when you look in, on the MLS, the pictures look beautiful. But then when you get to the property, it doesn't really look how the pictures look. So the first property we looked at, one of the things that the clients mentioned to me was that the, the property looked a lot bigger than it really did in the photos and that's normal especially when you are like shooting with a wide angle lens and on this property that we just looked at it was a beautiful property nice open floor plan they opened everything up however the cabinets there's a lot of dings wear and tear on the cabinet so um, it's always best to go out to do the video tour for you know clients or at least have the clients come to the home but also when you're doing the video tour with the agent that you are working with make sure the agent is pointing everything out so that way you can look at everything in depth so hopefully that's something that i can share with you guys but now and also another thing is that some of these uh homes just because it's on mls and it looks like it's vacant and the agent sends it to you understand that your real estate agent has a showing instructions there's a certain directions that they have to follow okay 
What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Brandon? Okay, so just got done. So we can meet at uh, 76 Houston Peak property. GPS says I will be. I should be there at 11:50. Make it 12 o'clock. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna beat us there. We do need help. Okay. So um, 12 o'clock. Is that cool? Yeah. It's perfect. All right, my brother. I'll see you guys out there. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Bye. All right. Bye. All right, man, this is crazy. I'm over here out in the uh, Northwest mass planning community called Providence and waiting for a client. There's a bunch of people here to look at this property. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go inside. We're all just going to look instead of waiting and taking turns. It's just a lot easier if we all just look. We just got done looking time. at this property. I forgot to like film in the inside. So I do apologize. But anyway, all the properties that I toured today, I'm going to have a link in the description below. So that way you guys can check out all the properties that we looked at today with our clients. All right, let's get to uh, next property. All right, guys, so the home that we're in right now, the asking price on here is a $430,000. It is 2,471 square feet. Uh, it has a total of five bedrooms and also a loft. Now I noticed this is a, a KB Homes. Um, what's crazy is uh, you look at so many homes, you start to recognize who the builder is. Maybe I'm just doing this too long. Who knows? Now also I'm gonna have a link in the description below with this property as well. This one also has the bedroom downstairs. And the bathroom. You got the laundry room right there. Pretty large bathroom or bedroom. Alright, so now we are back here at Galleria Mall here in uh, Henderson. And uh, I got my sidekick here. Hello. <laughs> We're about to go eat uh, some food. Late lunch, early dinner. Lately I've been uh, craving Korean barbecue. Look how busy the mall is. You know what was crazy was the strip last night. Woo! That was busy. Oh yeah. We, we drove down the strip last night and um, it was so busy to the point. Sorry. It's okay. It was so busy to the point where, like, the sidewalks were like so crowded where people had to like cross the street. But there were so much people that they didn't fit on the sidewalk. It literally overflowed into the street. And we're what? Seventy percent. Eight. We're at eighty percent. Eighty percent. But then we're about to go to 100%. In June. In June. Do you know when, babe? Uh, June 1st, I believe. June 1st. So this tells you all this money is about to flood in here. It's crazy. What do you think about that right there, babe? That it's one. Like you. Could you see me wearing this right here? All you. That's actually kind of tight though, huh? Maybe not like all together. <laughs> <laughs> but either the shirt or the pants. Is but that? Not as a set. I don't know if it looks like pajamas. That's one thing about Las Vegas. If you have white soles on your shoes, the ground here is like so like tarry. Like, I don't even know tarry is a word, but the bottom of your soles are gonna get so dark and dirty. Gotta find some uh, summer clothes here. I love these shirts right here. Large. You think I match in this? Mm-hmm. You think so? You're, you're gonna be the camera person today. Okay. I'll be like, oh, who's it? This is my camera girl. <laughs> now you gotta pretend like you're walking this way, babe, backwards, go. Oh, I'm supposed to like walk backwards too? Yeah. I mean, this is what Rudy does. Oh, watch out, babe. Watch out, watch out, watch out. See? Never mind, turn around, turn around. It's too busy. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick to what you're doing. Here it is, baby. We are here. Jen's Korean Barbecue House. Now, if you guys like Korean barbecue food, you guys gotta try this place out. One of my favorites. Now, we haven't eaten here since the pandemic. It was actually the last restaurant we ate at 
I believe. Oh. In California. Yeah. Well, no, this is the last time we actually ate before the pandemic together. So now we're about to go inside. Thank you. Did I pass? You did. All right, let's see if you pass. You're good. Oh, we passed. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here right now. Scan the menu. All right. Oh, ready to go? So I don't know if you guys got that. What she was saying here is, it, obviously it's all you can eat, but you have a restricted time of 90 minutes, and if you have a lot of wasted food, you're gonna be charged for the wasted food, right baby? $5 per plate. We just got done eating. We literally just destroyed this food. If you guys like Korean barbecue, check this place out over here at Galleria Mall. And also, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace.